Let us learn how to multiply and divide positive and negative fractions. We will look at fractions with the same signs and fractions with different signs. When you have fractions with the same signs, you multiply or divide the fractions and then you add a positive sign to the left of the result of step one. So let's look at some examples here. So we're going to ignore the signs first, and then we will deal with the division. So we have three and a half divided by one over four. So we're going to convert this fraction, the mixed number to a improper fraction, which is going to be three times two plus one over two. So three and a half is the same as three times two is six plus one over two. This is going to give us seven over two. So we have seven over two divided by one over four. So we now change the division to multiplication and we flip the fraction on the right. So four over one. 2 divided by 2, 1, 4 divided by 2, we have 2, 7 multiplied by 2 is 14, so our answer is going to be 14, since the signs are the same, we're going to have a plus 14. Now we have 7 over 9 divided by 3 and a half, so we're going to convert 3 and a half to Improper fraction, 3 and 1 half is equal to 3 times 2 plus 1 over 2. So that's going to give us 6 plus 1 over 2, 7 over 2. So now we have 7 over 9 divided by 7 over 2. So now we have 7 over 9. We change this to a multiplication and then we flip the fraction on the right. So 7 crosses out 7, we have 2 over 9. So the signs are the same, so we have positive 2 over 9. Now we're going to ignore the sign, so we have 7 over 8 multiplied by 4 over 7. 7 crosses out, 4 divided by 4, 1, 8 divided by 4, 2, so we have 1 over 2, now our answer is going to be 1 over 2, signs are the same, so it's going to be positive 1 over 2. So we have 1 over 8 multiplied by 7 and a half. So we look at seven and a half, we convert it to an improper fraction. We have two as a denominator, seven multiplied by denominator plus numerator. This is going to give you 15 over two. So now we have one over eight multiplied by 15. Fifteen over two. So this is going to give us 15 multiplied by 1 is 15, 8 multiplied by 2 is 16. So our result is going to be 15 over 16. Since the signs are the same, we have a positive result. Now the only difference here is when the signs are different, instead of having a positive result, you have a negative result. So let's go ahead and use that to walk through these problems. So we're going to ignore the signs first. So we have 9 over 11 divided by 3 over 22. So we have 9 over 11. We change the sign to multiplication and then we flip the fraction on the right. That's 22 over 3. So this is going to give us 11 divided by 11. We have 1. 22 divided by 11. We have 2. 3 divided by 3, we have 1. 9 divided by 3, we have 3. So we're left with 3 times 2, 
which is going to give us 6. Now our answer is going to be 6. Now our signs are different on the numbers, so we're going to be left with a negative result. So we have, let's take out the fraction, 15 over 19 divided by 1 over 3. So we are going to have 15 over 19. Switch this, the operation to a multiplication, and then you flip the fraction on the right-hand side, 3 over 1. So this is going to be 15 times 3. It's going to give you 45 divided by 19. It should be 19, not 15. So it's going to be 45 divided by 19. So now, let's leave our answer in that form. 45 divided by 19, we have different signs on the fractions. So we're left with a negative result. Now we're going to focus on just the fraction without the sign. 1 over 4 multiplied by 3 over 8. So 1 multiplied by 3, we have 3. 4 multiplied by 8, we have 32. So we have 3 over 32. Now the signs are different, so we just have a negative sign to the left. Now finally, we have 5 over 7. We're, gonna, we're going to do the multiplication without the sign. Multiplied by 13 over 18. So 5 times 13, let's go ahead, 13 multiplied by 5. 3 times 5 is 15. We have 5 here. We bring 1 up here. 1 times 5, 5 plus 1, 6. So that's 65 over 18 multiplied by 7. 8 times 7, 56. We write the 6. We bring up the 5. 1 times 7, or 1 multiplied by 7. We have 7 plus 5. We have 12. So we have 126. So we have 65 over 126. Now let's check the sign on the numbers. We have plus here and uh, positive, negative, different signs. So we're going to end up with a negative result.